you must have heard of Google Summer of Code. Well, it's almost a paid internship opportunity where you work with an open source organization remotely throughout the period. Finally, upon doing well, you get paid and also get those bragging rights. And you obviously add that to your resume and that's it. But did you ever wonder there is something similar to that of Google Summer of Code that pays really well and also you work on some amazing open source project remotely throughout the period and that can also be a wonderful addition to your resume. If you want to know then stay tuned and watch this video till the end. For more such interesting opportunities then you should consider sharing, liking and subscribing this channel because there are many such opportunities that you might not know and you surely do want to miss them. First, let's talk about the good things that you get from this opportunity. Gift package containing t-shirt, USB disk, etc. and etc. I know this is getting more exciting. Quite high stipend or money on completion of this project. Third, certificate of completion and finally, and that's an obvious thing that is a lot of learning experience and the bragging rights that you can add it to your resume. Next, let's look at who can grab this opportunity. For that, you should be a student. It does not matter from which country you are from, as this is going to be completely remote and you will be working on an open source project. You should be at least 18 years of age. This is all you need to apply to, to this wonderful opportunity. Let's see how this is going to work. Firstly, you pick a project that interests you from the list of projects that will be posted on the website. Next, you would communicate your thoughts with the corresponding mentor showing your interest and also the first cut solution that you think would work. You have to prepare the application materials that might include your resume, project proposal and also a motivation letter. More details can be found on the website. Be sure that the application materials are concise and to the point that clearly explains your thoughts and the things, especially how you're going to solve this problem in the next few months as part of the program. Now submit the project application and sit back and relax for the results. Based on your application, your first solution and the thoughts and how you communicate with the mentor, you will be chosen. And if you are chosen, you will be part of the results list that are mentioned on their own website. By the way, the link to this particular website can be found in the description box of this particular video. But don't skip this video because I'll be talking about more and more important details. So stay tuned and keep watching till the end. Next, this whole program is of two phases. When you are in, you'll start off with your first phase where you develop a part of the project and also you'll report your progress to your mentor. If your mentor is satisfied with your work, then you should be allowed to the next phase of this program and also 50% of the stipend would be given to you there and then. Similarly, with the second phase, which is the final phase, you will have to work and communicate with your mentor. On successful completion, you will be given the other half of the stipend and the certificate of completion that you can post anywhere on your LinkedIn or you can attach it to your resume. Now, the obvious thing is to brag about it. You can add this particular whole experience in your work experience section of your resume and also on other social uh, media platforms like LinkedIn. Let's talk about the stipend, the money. With respect to stipend, there are two important things you should know. The amount you'll receive is based on the difficulty of the project. So the difficulty is divided among three categories. Low ones are awarded 6,000 Chinese yuans. Medium uh, would be given around 9,000 Chinese yuans. And finally, high given 12,000. This is around approximately 7,000 rupees, 1 lakh 5,000 rupees and 1 lakh 40,000 rupees respectively for each of these uh, difficulty levels. Second important thing is that you have to read the section uh, which, I show, which I show it on the screen 
thoroughly so that you will understand on how the foreign payments are done to your account to your local bank account and also the tax that could incur based on your bank and country i would advise you to contact your bank uh, to know more about more details on the tax that would be deducted from the actual amount and also how the, those are tra trans transferred to your account that's it guys i'm planning to add many such interesting opportunities on this channel so please subscribe and also note that the link to this particular opportunity is in the description box that you can just go and apply let's meet on the next video